directed by and starring Jake Johnson, Self Reliance is finally released on Hulu. As the comedy thriller releases on the streaming platform, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, talk about the ending and discuss some details of the film so that you can have the best viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we'll be discussing essential plot points and character details from the film. But if you're done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot. At the center of the comedy thriller is Tommy Walcott, a lonely, bored middle-aged man with a boring job. His life had become routine and he had nothing to look forward to anymore. His life became even more meaningless when his long-time girlfriend left him. Tommy went to live with his mother and had given up expecting anything exciting in his life. One day, out of the blue, Andy Samberg invited him into his limousine and introduced him to a reality show on the dark web. For Tommy, meeting Andy was already a highlight and he was excited about the chance to win a million dollar by participating. But there was one problem. He might not survive the show. Tommy learned from Andy Samberg that he would be filmed on the show and that the only challenge was that he would have to survive for the next 30 days. Being dissatisfied with his life, Tommy was up for the challenge. He did not mind being stared at by the strangers on the internet and was willing to risk everything for a fling. And he was quite surprised by Tommy's choice. After all, how bored a man can be when he accepts a deadly challenge. Tommy was left in a secret location, a sort of warehouse where he was introduced to two older gentlemen, who explained the rules of the challenge to him. Tommy was warned about the Hunters, a group of hitmen who wanted to make life difficult for the participants. The rules stated that the assassins could only attack competitors when they were alone, and that was the loophole Tommy was eager to explore. He realized that if he could convince all his friends and family to stand by him, he could make it through the challenge alive. Tommy was a little hesitant before hearing about this rule, but once he found out, he immediately agreed to participate. Tommy gathered his family to discuss the exciting adventure, but it was impossible to convince them to believe the story. He had no proof and his history of disillusionment made his case even worse. They were convinced that it was another story Tommy had made up to distract himself from the breakup. Tommy was disappointed that his family didn't support him when he needed it most. But obviously, the whole thing was too ridiculous to take seriously. Furthermore, the audience has no reason to completely trust Tommy. The film takes place from his point of view and Tommy is not definitely a reliable narrator. Returning to the story, Tommy decides to find a constant companion. After failing to convince his family and friends about him, he decided to pay for a partner. At night, he came across a homeless man and realized that he was the perfect candidate to be his shadow. The man didn't know where to go and wanted Tommy to give him something to eat. This strange friendship is perhaps the most endearing aspect of the film. Two people from completely different backgrounds and ages come together to spend time as friends. While the threat of death may have been the main driving force behind the decision, fear caused two people to communicate with each other who otherwise would not have communicated. The film comments on the loneliness that comes with individualism and how the modern world has failed to cultivate human relationships. While discussing the entire story with his family, Tommy said he left a cryptic message on the Craigslist. A woman contacted Tommy and revealed that she was also a contestant on the reality show. Tommy was skeptical at first, but knowing that someone else had the same experience reassured him. He decided to meet the woman in question in a public place. Fearing that the hunters would attack, Maddie took her mother with her. Tommy began to trust Maddie and realized that they could spend the remaining days of the challenge together to keep the hunters at bay. The whole situation was quite difficult for Maddie's mother to understand, but she still decided to support her daughter. When Maddie found out about Tommy's past affair, she decided it was time for him to get his answer from her. Tommy had been in a relationship with Teresa for 23 years and suddenly he decided to leave her. She had recently given birth to her daughter and Tommy's family believed that this had had a strong impact on him. The challenge boosted Tommy's confidence and he decided to finally ask Teresa for an answer. It turned out that the relationship had reached a stagnation point that Teresa wasn't comfortable with, and she decided it was time to prioritize new experiences. When Tommy explained the game to Teresa, she didn't believe him. She was convinced that this was her way of dealing with the separation and the announcement that she was going to be become a mother. Maddie came to Tommy's head and pretended to be his girlfriend, but Teresa didn't care. Maddie and Tommy spent the evening having fun and decided to spend the night together. 
At midnight, the production crew interrupted Tommy's sleep and told him he wasn't safe. In self-reliance, interruptions from the contrasonist, otherwise known as the production team, along with some small cameras, were the only times we were reminded of the show and the fact that everything was possibly real. There is almost no action in the film, contrary to what one would expect from reading the plot. The team alerting him to his surroundings is one of those moments where he is reminded that there is an another unseen reality behind it. Well, there is a chance it's all in Tommy's head. There could be a group of strangers watching a comedy reality show where Tommy tries his best to escape death. Tommy and Maddie ends up in a motel and decide to spend the remaining days there. Tommy admits that the reason he joined the show was to be around people, and meeting Maddie was definitely his highlight. Even though they had just met, he wanted to get to know her better, and she felt the same about him. The next few days passed without a hitch, but that was until Tommy was contacted by another player. Maddie was reluctant to meet the participant, but Tommy believed it was their duty to help people have the same experience. When they met the participants, they discovered that the people on the dark wave watched the show for laughs. The participants were usually lonely people who didn't have much to do in life, and those who attempted to kill them were dressed funny. If you think about it, the two hunters Tommy met were peculiar. One was a giant wearing a MJ outfit, while the other was dressed as Mario. The show was called Delusions of Grandeur making it impossible to say for sure that what was real and what wasn't. The conversation interrupted Maddie and Tommy eventually discovered that Maddie had never been part of conversation. He simply responded to the ad hoping to connect with another human being. He didn't take the game aspect seriously, but that was until he met another participant. It all started to seem a little too real and absurd at the same time. Maddie thought it was an invitation to roleplay and she was surprised to see that Tommy was sold on the idea. Perhaps it had occurred to her that he was just a delusional man making up stories that the third-party participant was only fueling the fire. Tommy's father abandoned his family when Tommy was a young boy. He never wanted to go home and for the longest time, Tommy imagined having a conversation with his father. The last thing Tommy expected was to meet him in a limousine at midnight. The main motive for the challenge was to expose Tommy to situations that he was afraid of in his real life. Tommy didn't know how to react when he saw his father again after 30 years. He found out his father was now living in Cleveland and was sober. As bizarre as it sounds, when Brady reportedly took his father on a private jet to meet Tommy, while his father wanted to know how the family was reacting to his sudden absence. Tommy wasn't ready to have the conversation yet. He was far too worried about Maddie's safety. The only advice his father had given him was not to destroy his relationship with Maddie as he did with his wife and children. The challenge was almost a blessing for Tommy, as it brought people he never expected back into his life. Even though the whole show was in his head, at least he found forgiveness in his heart for his father and realized that there was remorse in his old man. Tommy's family has appointed an interventionist to put an end to the madness. There were only four days left before winning the challenge and he was not ready to be held back by his family in the most crucial period. His family was surprised to learn that Tommy had finally confronted Teresa and even met his father after 30 years. It all seemed too good to be true, but Tommy spoke with conviction. The family had difficulty believing his truth, and he decided to get away from them. Tommy spent the rest of the night with his faithful companion James, whose real name he discovered was Walter. He realized that he had never asked the stranger his name at the dumpster, and he assumed it was James. Walter never bothered to correct him and he finally admitted the truth one drunken night. The next morning, when Tommy woke up, Walter was no longer at his side. Tommy was all alone and he realized that he was the safest man on the street, along with the rest of the homeless. Tommy spent the remaining three days interacting with random strangers who considered the streets their temporary homes. On the final day, a member of the production crew approached him and asked him to get into a limousine, which would take him to the end of the challenge. Tommy and Andy Samberg met again, and this time he offered Tommy the choice to walk away free and safe or accept greater danger, but ultimately with the reward. Much to Andy's surprise, Tommy chose the latter and was taken back to the warehouse. As soon as he went to the warehouse, he was chased by hunters dressed in funny costumes. After Tommy managed to escape the deadly sharp blades of samurai, he shouted with joy that he had won. He made it to the end but there was no big celebration. For a second, he wondered if this was all in his head. But before that took hold, the spotlights came on and a crowd of people walked in, along with the two older gentlemen who presented Tommy with the challenge. 
After spending most of his life in the shadows, Tommy found joy in escaping death and winning strangely satisfying game. It was almost as if he had finally found meaning in his life. At the end of Self-Reliance, Tommy won a million dollars. But apparently, it was all in Danish kroner and it was supposed to be paid in installments. But Tommy didn't care about the nitty-gritties. He was happy knowing he had won and that was all that mattered. It could all have been in Tommy's head if when Brady hadn't visited his family to confirm the game was real. The film opens with a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson who says that everyone's greatest achievement is to be themselves, even when the whole world tries to turn them into something completely different. Although everyone around Tommy tried to convince him that he was delusional, Tommy never thought about it. He was determined to win the challenge rather than doubt his memory. Since it all finally seemed real enough, one wonders if the whole challenge was really about Tommy. Was there a group of people watching the loners and trying to think of some strange challenges to force them to socialize and live a little without the safety net that protected them? The film is largely about the curse of modern society, where people have forgotten the art of communication and how a little push can lead to life-changing experiences. It is also a commentary on reality shows where people engage in the strangest activities to entertain the audience. Is there ever any authenticity to such shows or are they simply designed in such a way that the outcome more often than not brings a sense of fulfillment to the audience? The challenge transformed Tommy into a confident man who understood the importance of taking the first step towards happiness. And he didn't hesitate to try his luck with Maddie again. We also find out that Tommy has remained true to his words and now shares his apartment with Walter, who had become his best friend. Tommy's life had changed dramatically, in the most absurd way. The life of Walter is also changed. The film probably tries to convey the message that if we can get out of the stigma of perception, we can be free and make the lives better for people around us as well as ourselves. The film also preaches the fact that a true friend can come from any part of the society irrespective of age and economic background. After winning the game, Tommy helps Walter out of his misery, which shows that after attaining self-reliance, Tommy can enjoy life a little bit better and now he has evolved from a self-centered prick to a man who genuinely cares about people around him. And it seems now he won't repeat the mistake with Maddie, which he did with Teresa. Self-Reliance is a good film that talks about the growing isolation that is starting to slip into our lives and the desperate methods that we use in order to cope with our mortality. It has a relatively short run time, so if you're looking for something that doesn't take time but is interesting enough to hold your attention for more than an hour, you can give this film a shot. There are a lot of popular faces and if you know their older works, you will appreciate them here. The film is competent and you can have a dark and existential viewing experience while watching the film. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching the video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Self-Reliance on Hulu. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinemas and series. See you at the next one and for the time being, we are signing off. Goodbye all sports and I'll be back.